Hi, I'm Derek Beamer. I'm with Bald Guy Fishing, and we're here at the American Tackle booth at the International Custom Rod Builders Expo in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. And today I want to talk about coordinator glass handles. The first step in making the coordinator glass handles is to make your cork base. So you can start with a block of cork or you can use cork rings. If you're using the rings, glue them up and it'll start to look like the handle like this. Then I want to recess it and make it to where you have a, a gap in here where the cord is going to lay as you start wrapping it to form these grips. So we have a recessed area. Now we need to figure out what kind of cord we want to use for the grips. So you can use paracord. I've got an example here of a rod that is finished and that is actually paracord on this particular build. You can also use hobby cord. This was just picked up at, at Hobby Lobby and it's a little smaller diameter and this has some tinsel in it. So it gives a different effect. So once you establish which kind of cord you're gonna to use to make your grips, you've got your area recessed. You wanna start wrapping this cord around. And to get it started, I like to drill like a pilot hole right on the edge of where it goes from not recessed to recessed. I'll put a dab of super glue in here put that tag end in, let it dry, and from there, you just start wrapping the cord around. You're gonna have a small gap right here, and what I'll do is I'll put a little dab of super glue in there and push this up and fill that in so it's all flush. And then you just start wrapping the cord around. Pack as you go. You don't want any gaps in there. It'll show up once your finish is on and it'll, it'll stick out. And it just goes on this easy. Just keep wrapping it. When you get to the end, you don't want to cut these too short. You want to make sure you leave enough room to finish your grip. So once you get to the end, you can cut it and you'll glue it down in here. And your finished grip before epoxy will look like this. Now that we have the cord on, we have a good smooth surface, our next step is going to be adding the finished epoxy. To prep this for the epoxy, we want to add color preserver to coat the threads. That will give the epoxy ability to build up and give us a nice smooth finish. You don't want to apply it too thick or it can leave a white residue on your finished product. So then you just, once you have the color preserver on, you're going to apply your finished epoxy just like you would any other part of your build and you're gonna end with a, a finished product that looks, looks like this. And it looks like it's paracord under glass, which is why it's named cord under glass. Thank you for watching. I hope you all found this useful. And if you wanna see more of how I do things, feel free to check out the links below for my social media. Thank you.